by a few people on, you know, what's my preferred method and, uh, you know, how do I set up a snagging rig and everything and when you can and cannot snag. So I'm going uh, to just address all that in the video, everything that I know anyways. Uh, but yeah, I'll get to you guys here in a second. I'm pulling up to the river now. It's a little late right now, but it's okay. I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot. All right, guys, these are the two hooks that I'm going to be using today. <clears throat> in Kentucky, you're only allowed to use one hook while you're snagging. I'm going to be using a hook and a sinker at the bottom. This has already got a pretty decent amount of weight on it, so I'm just going to throw a one ounce on it and see how that does. But <clears throat> that's, that's it right there. This is a 12 ounce. You can use a 10 ounce or, you know, just whatever will uh, fit your purposes. But <clears throat> I try to use the biggest hook, so. There we go right there. This is the location right here. This is Point Park in Carrollton, Kentucky for anybody wondering. I know a lot of people don't like, you know, me telling everybody where it's at, but I really don't care. I would like to see people out here fishing. So there it is right there. All right, you guys, this is how I rig it up on the line. Got the hook up there farther. The sinker down here, a lot of people do it a lot more technical and make this sinker line a lighter braid or a lighter test that way if it gets caught up it breaks and you don't lose your hook i don't do that because you're gonna lose a lot of hooks anyways but that's what it looks like something i forgot to mention is you want to wrap that string around your hooks that way when it's going through the water it's pretty fixed on that line well you guys that was our first pull out here caught a little channel cat this is like really tiny it could be bait but you know i caught something i didn't think i actually had something on but there we go as i was sitting there for about a hour to like an hour and a half and i ain't caught a thing other than that little channel cat so i'm gonna head out it's super cold and windy it was really hard to cast through but that just proves that you can get out there and get it when uh the conditions are pretty rough so don't let it get you down go out there and get it if you want to All right, so we finally hit one, guys. I mean, it took five hours of just sitting here snagging, but this is a spoonbill. As you can see right here, I, I got it right here in the side and the stomach. But honestly, was just messing around. I thought that I had something snagged, so I was just messing around, and it actually took off with the drag. So, yeah, that's what we got right here. It's probably 40 pounds, if not heavier. It's just... The best spoonbill i've caught from this spot and it's public so if you guys want to come out here and try it go ahead 